Coach's Corner, week five. Um, coach, uh, two wins out of two. Uh, you must be pretty pleased with the way things are going at the moment. Um, tell us about the win against Franklin and Berea. Definitely, yeah, we're, we're feeling good about two wins in our last two games, and um, it's given us a little confidence here as we wrap up our non-conference schedule. Uh, we had our first game uh, last week on Wednesday night at Berea College. Uh, we traveled up there for an 8 o'clock kickoff under the lights. Uh, they've got a, a new grass facility there, a, a great venue to play a, a game at. And, uh, we came out with a lot of energy in the first half, and uh, we're pretty opportunistic with, with our goals and took our chance as well, uh, including three set pieces, and um, really put the game out of reach by halftime. Um, and I thought for us it, it wasn't one of our prettiest performance in regards to, to the type of possession we had, the, the passes that we were connecting, and, and even some of the uh, chances we were creating in the run of play. But um, overall, the team took a very business-like approach to the game. Uh, they walked in with the expectation to win, and they found a way to get the job done, uh, which gave us some, some positive momentum heading into uh, this week's game against Franklin. Yeah, and, and looking uh, at the Franklin game, obviously we went down um, early 2-0, uh, but I thought defensively our guys were, were organized early. I thought it was just uh, the mental lapses that, that caused the, the, the two goals. Um, and while that was still taking place, we were still creating great opportunities um, to, to score. We just were capitalizing on them. And I think as you look at the, off the course of the, the first half, we were slowly getting momentum. Um, and we were able to find one in the back of the net um, before the end of the first half. Um, you know, going into the second half, we had to make some adjustments, and I thought that the guys really came out and uh, made a statement and put the game um, out of reach right away. Um, and, and that's just kudos to our guy, to our guys, just working hard and um, continuing to fight. Coach, you have two non-conference games coming up. Um, tell us about those games. Absolutely, yeah, and. and you know, I think Coach Jagel's exactly right. Um, that second half performance against Franklin was probably our best of the season. And um, what that's done is, is really uh, given the group some confidence and, and some energy heading into what will be our final two non-conference games of the regular season uh, before we kick off play in the SLEAC next week. Uh, this Friday night, it'll be a similar environment to the last two games. We'll be traveling up to the College of Mount St. Joseph. We'll be playing under the lights. Uh, this will be on a turf surface. And, uh, you know, we know that Mount St. Joe's is always a tough team out of the Heartland Conference, um, and, it, and it's going to be a, a good game and, and a good battle for our guys here on Friday night. Uh, we'll round that out the weekend out then with a home game against Hanover College uh, at our place, Champions Trace. And I think if you look at this stretch of games uh, from Berea to Franklin to Mount St. Joe's to Hanover, um, the competition just continues to get better and better in those contests and continues to prepare us um, as best as possible uh, for what we know is the most important part of the season, conference, uh, which starts next Saturday against Principia. So uh, these final two games will just be, you know, the final two tune-ups for our guys to, to make sure they're playing their best soccer at the right time of year and um, set us up for opening SLEAC play next Saturday. All right. Thank you, guys. I'll see you again next week for another edition of Coach's Corner. Thank you.